Hey, it's Louis here and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be analysing Louis Vuitton stock. We'll be using ticket terminals, go through the financials, and then I'll set the numbers into the DCF and we'll come to a fair value of their stock. Let's get straight into it. So who are Louis Vuitton? So LVMH, Mowat Hennessy, Louis Vuitton, let's just call it Louis Vuitton, make our lives easier. It's a French holding company, um, corporation, and it specializes in luxury goods, if you didn't know. Headquartered in Paris, the company was formed in 1987 through the merger of Fashion House Louis Vuitton, founded in 1854, and Mowat Hennessy. Um, so basically these you know, brands came together in, in the 80s. LVMH controls about 60 subsidiaries, which on all of them manage like prestigious brands, 75 in total. These include Christine Dior, Fendi, Givenchy, Marc Jacobs, Stella McCartney, what else we got? Sephora, Ty Coyer, and Tiffany & Co as well. So a lot of luxury brands going on here. Um, Mo Hennessy as well, the Champagne. So all sorts going on. The company itself is listed in Paris. It is the biggest French company in the world. Well, it's the biggest French company, that's a fact. Um, it's listed on the Euronex Paris and the CAC for, it's a CAC 40 component as well. Now let's have a look at the sales for Louis Vuitton and we'll start with the sales for business. So 2021 fashion and leather goods made up 48%, so I think handbags and you know clothes, etc. Selective retailing, 18%. I'm guessing that's you know stores, watches and jewellery. 14%, uh, wines and spirits 9%, perfumes and cosmetics 9%, and then other sales make up a small 2%. Sales per region, so 35% of sales come from Asia, excluding Japan, so I'm guessing a lot of this will be China. Um, United States makes up 26%, Europe, excluding France, is 15%, other countries 11 Japan 7%, and then France 6%. Now let's have a look at the financials for Louis Vuitton and of course we're on Ticket Terminal and we'll set up the income statement and we'll put it down to five years of worth of data. So all the dates in Euros, French company. So 2017 to 21, the revenues increased by a huge amount. Um, one thing I've noticed here that it, it fluctuates quite a bit though, up and down, up and down. So 2021, up and up of the world, people spending a lot more money because I mean, the trend of revenue was going up, 2020 happened, then they get way back on track uh, with some fantastic results. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see whether revenue does fall. Is it gonna maintain at 64 billion euros? Is it gonna decrease down to uh, maybe 2019 levels? Who knows, we'll see. Um, Cause I think a lot of the sales in 2021, 2021 should have been in 2020, but people have just delayed buying stuff. That's my gut instinct anyway. So I do not expect this revenue to continue. I expect it to come down to a more you know, pre-pandemic levels, which would make, make sense, wouldn't it really, logically. Um, net income, yeah, the trend was going up apart from the anomaly 2020, and then a fantastic year in 2021. Let's have a look at the share count. This has stayed basically, basically the same, let's be honest. Not much changes there, so share counts remaining pretty similar. Um, cash and co cash equivalents, cash balance increased a bit. I'm going to be interested to see if we've issued any debt in 2020 to get through the pandemic. That would be interesting. And boom, yeah, all we can see about here, long term debt was quite. Then boom, we borrowed about 10 bill. Repaying it slightly now, hopefully, they reduce that repaying it a bit more. But to get through COVID, looks like we've issued some debt, is what it is. Return earnings. The trend five years is up, so that's good. Cash flow statement, let's have a look at the free cash flow, so cash flow from operations and the capex is free cash flow. So let's have a look. Yeah, so this is increasing. You can see the, the capex is pretty flat, but the cash flow from operations goes up quite a bit. Even in 2020, not too bad, is it? That free cash flow is going to be very similar to them to 19 and 20, going to be similar, so that's a good sign. In 2021, obviously fantastic. Um, right, okay, so dividends paid. Yes, so we've been increasing the dividends paid out, which is fantastic stuff. Um, now to the ratios, return on capital, pretty high to be fair. Um, 
getting nearly 20% apart from 2020 of course um, pretty solid but what what do I like about this business for margins gross profit margins very high and the net income margins as well are relatively high as well for a business of its size we're talking 19% not bad at all really um, in terms of debt current ratio above one so we've got enough money to cover the short term obligations um, the CCC isn't below 60 but we can we can deal with that there's a lot of inventory with this company so that's why we'll put, we'll put the cash into inventory and it'll be there for 200 odd days so it is what it is um, long term debt to capital 38% manageable, we want this to stay at this level, let's get it back to 2017 level shall we, to a 25-22% range, would love that and I'm sure it will do um, but yeah, that's the brief overview of the financials of Louis Vuitton, if you'd like to use Ticket Terminal, Terminal yourself, click my affiliate link down below and have fun analysing some companies because this software is absolutely fantastic some of the best kit out there for analysing companies, getting the financials and you know doing your own fundamental analysis on companies. If you are enjoying today's video, then why don't you book in a one-to-one -one coaching session with myself? In these sessions, you will learn how to analyze a company using fundamental analysis. As well as this, you will learn how to value a company using a DCF model. Value investing is the art of buying stocks which trade at a significant discount to intrinsic value. Value investors like myself achieve this by looking for companies on cheap valuation metrics, typically lower multiples of their profits, assets, and cash flow as well for reasons which are not justified over the long term. Billionaire value investors such as Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger and Joel Greenblatt have all used these timeless concepts to beat the market over the long term. No financial advice will be given on these calls, financial statement analysis and business valuation education only. I will see you there. Now let's have a look at the genuine impact stats for Louis Vuitton and we'll start with the quality metric and it is looking solid here isn't it, very high. It's got the shield around it, so it's one of the highest quality companies on the platform. Profitability very high, financial strength medium, capital allocation very sound. It's, it's looking like a decent decent company here. Value-wise, it's looking expensive though, unfortunately. Income statement balance sheet especially, cash flow medium. Historical growth, so it's looking high. Um, can't complain here. I think it's looking high because, because we had a depressed 2020 and a euphoric 2021. There's a bit of a disconnect there, and that just makes sense why that would be showing as high. Um, but yeah, some interesting insights there from Genuine Impact. Now let's have a look at my analysis checklist for Louis Vuitton. And as we said, the company is French, biggest French company out there. Market cap, I'm guessing that's 295 billion euros. Mark current price is 585 euros. So a P ratio of 25 rounded and earnings yield of 4%. So, my first pillar, so I want a company to be profitable, high returns on capital, using low leverage. These three things combined, in my opinion, are three qualities of a, a high quality company. Um, return on capital, above 15%. Try the average, smash it out of the pack there, 17%. Gross profit margin, 66%, awesome. Net margin as well, 14%. And then free cash flow is not far behind. Well, it's a little bit in front of 16%. So the margins and free cash flow margins are quite quite tight, quite similar. That's a good sign. Lots of profit in this company, lots of free cash flow. Current ratio above one, fantastic stuff. CCC, we discussed this, it's quite high, but that's because we've got quite a lot of inventory and the cash is held up in inventory for a long time. So we can, we can deal with that. Company isn't going to have everything in the green, is it? Only the, the best of the best, like in Microsoft, for example, something like that. Total debt to capital is below 50%. You do often find that European companies, so Japanese and European companies, even Chinese as well, are a lot more. They don't like leverage as much as the US. You do often find US companies with a lot more leverage than these other you know, businesses around the world. Um, yeah, Americans. They, they do like the dead, don't they? So it is what it is. Not all companies have dead in America, but you, you, when, when I've been analysing these companies, you do notice that more often. But it's interesting to just to see it on paper. Proven ability to grow over the past five years, growth everywhere. As we've seen, 2021 is a, was a bit of a blockbuster year, a bit euphoric. I don't think that's going to continue. Um, that's natural, isn't it? We, we, we came out of lockdown, etc. So that's something we've got to build into our numbers. Great capital allocation, so they did issue some debt as we saw. 
but because it's manageable, not too bothered. Dookies and share count, zero, so you can't knock them. Keep the shares the same. If you haven't issued shares and diluted as a shareholders, dividend growth have been growing dividends, so this is where most of their capital, um, sorry, returning capital to shareholders, most of it's going via dividends. Can't complain really if, you, if you've got a good quality business. Good acquisition, so not much has gone on here. Just the odd write down, so you can't really knock on that much, but it is red. Overall quality score of 80%, so solid to be honest, very, very good. Um, so, right, buy at a fair price, the most important thing in investing. So, P ratio is 25, and the price of free cash flow is 19. So, yeah, so current valuation for 10% return, 419 euros. Still needs to fall 28%. So from the current share price of 585, it needs to drop 167 euros. Um, and yeah, we'll go to my DCF now and we will have a look. So these three cash flow estimates are from marketscreener.com. Um, 10% return, 418, 418 euros. Sorry, 19 rounded, isn't it? 419 euros, it needs to fall a bit still. As you can see from a free cash flow, I've been quite generous with growth there as well, to be honest. I mean, I'm saying 2022 is going to be lower, and then the next series is going to be you know, growing at a, at a decent rate. But into the future, not much growth from there. This could even be seen as a bit high, to be honest. You may, you may want to pay less if you don't think there's going to be any growth going on, but who knows? Let's have a look. When was the stock last at 419 euros? Because this company has fallen from 750 odd. Yeah. When was it last at? Right, okay, so it was in 2020 when it was last at these numbers. Um, so, yeah, who knows? But yeah, the company has to fall a fair bit still before I'm interested. And even then, I would like to buy it with a bit of slight margin of safety as well, because if my calculations are wrong, I need to buy at a lower price to, you know, save myself if things go badly. But yeah, good quality company. I do want to own this one, I must say. Um, do your own research, of course, um, no financial advice, but the numbers to show good quality company. Um, my analysis checklist, high quality business, you can buy it at a fair price. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. But yeah, that's it for Louis Vuitton. So there we have it, that was my full stock analysis for Louis Vuitton. If you enjoyed today's video then please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. As always it would be amazing if you could like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one, however you can check out some of these videos.